Hey, welcome back everyone. In this video, I want to talk about how SSH works and how we can use it to run bash commands remotely on our phone from a computer. For those of you who don't know, SSH is short for Secure Shell, which Wikipedia describes as a cryptographic network protocol for operating network services securely over an unsecured network. That just means that we can run commands over an encrypted connection with packages like Dropbear and OpenSSH. If the end result is the same, we'll have a shell that runs bash commands on our phone. Dropbear and OpenSSH usually connect over a network IP address, which introduces latency, but we're going to set up SSH over USB using platform-specific tools to run SSH through the USB cable rather than the wireless network. This means that we can use the command line with zero latency. In this video, I'm setting up iPhone Tunnel on Mac OS. Your mileage may vary for other platforms. Okay, so the easiest way to get started is to come to the iPhone dev wiki and go to the SSH over USB page. They have instructions on how to set it up on all the platforms um, in a few different ways. I have had a few issues with some of these, specifically USB MuxD and Gandalf, but that's not what we're going to be using. Um, on Mac OS, I prefer iPhone Tunnel. So if we click this, it'll bring us down to the iPhone Tunnel section. If you click the Google Code Archive link, you can download the zip and drag the application into your Applications folder. And then we can open it with iPhone Tunnel. Cool. So it shows up in the mini bar um, and we can turn the tunnel on just by clicking turn tunnel on. If we go inside of the preferences, we can see that it's routing port 22 from our iPhone to port 2222 on this machine. So if we open up a terminal and SSH root at localhost and specify the port with dash P, um, lowercase p, and then we do 2222. We get access and it um, asks for our password. So the password by default is A-L-P-I-N-E, which is Alpine. Um, we're going to change that as soon as possible. So to do that, do P-A-S-S-W-D and then root. This is changing the password for the root user. So to set a new password, you just type your new password twice and make sure you can still sign back in. Um, by exiting and then using the password again. Cool. So once you're back in, um, you have SSH set up over USB and you can make sure that it is over USB because it says connected over 127.0.0.1. Um, um, now what we need to do is we need to set up SSH copy ID so that we won't have to type in that password anymore because it's 2018. Um, do ssh copy id root at localhost p 2222 and then type your password again and you'll see something like this where it says number of keys added one and now we don't have to type in our password anymore which is really cool. Uh, so ssh root at localhost you know the drill. Boom. We're in. Um, and this also means when we're installing tweaks with make package install, let's see if we can pull one up. Um, we can use red rectangle from the last video. Do make package install. And before we can do that, um, actually, I don't think I've ever covered how to set Theos device IP. Uh, to do that, we do vim and then your bash profile. If you're using an alternative shell like me, um, it's probably something different. In my case, it's ZSHRC. Um, it'll look the same. Just find a place to put this. Um, I guess I should actually use a normal people text editor. Um, actually, no, grow up, use them. Cool. Somewhere add export Theos device IP equal local host and Theos device port is equal to 2222. So this just sets two environment variables called Theos device IP and Theos device port equal to some information. Um, 
that makes it connect over USB all the time. So now if we were to do echo BIOS, well, first you have to source it. If we were to do echo Theos device IP and Theos device port, we get localhost and 2222. And that's important for make package install because that's the variable that it's reading from. So cool, it looks like it installed successfully. Um, there's no kill all command right now with the Electra jailbreak, so we get this error, but that's fine. Um, we have SSH set up over USB, and that's what I wanted to cover. That should be it for this video. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.